It's Monday morning and it's seven o'clock. Nick's here, Adam's here, Jack's just text me. Right, we're going over to the biggest job that we've got. It's Adam's dad's here as well. Hello, Adam's dad. Um, we're going to head over to the unit, chuck the stuff in the van quickly, head over to you, Doctor, meet Jack from JRC. So we'll see you there. JLC's I'm here as well. Here. Big up me, big up you all. Nice. Right, so me and, me and Jack are just uh, on this big job. Um, so we've come here, we're going to disconnect the mains for the little cottage. So we've turned off the isolator in that little fuse box cupboard down there, the meter cab. And now JRC is going to disconnect this and rig up the new site board that we've got down here for the roofers and all the other trades on site. So we'll jump back in a minute once we've got this new board on. Open the window. Jack's here, everyone. <laughs> right, we've got, oh. we've got three Matavos. Adam's using the old one or the new one? Yeah, hold on. How do you uh, do that thing again? You have to push or pull it. No, you got to pull. You got to turn it now. Then yeah, you pull it. Loose. So you lift it up now. Like a quick release move it on the bike. It's not pulling. It's not pulling. That's what she said. <laughs> it's hard to do it with one hand. So, no, that's tight. Yeah. That's loose. So lift it up. Now lift it. Pull it towards you, and then spin it back. Right. Are you done? Yeah. What you're trying to do, loosen it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you loose. Oh, oh you no. have to pull it and pull it that way. Right, yeah. Okay. I was, I was pushing the wrong way. We've got Probably stuff marked ready. up. The lads are going around with the chasers. I'm going to use the new one by the looks of it. Nice. Got the kitchen plan out. I'm going to take a few of these cabs off the wall. Everything's dead in here. We're going to have a go with that. They've got their camera. This is the job where it's an agency, so their camera guys up there. You can see them. Yeah. Under the scaffolding, there they are. Uh, they'll be coming every now and then to record us, but we're going to try and get as much stuff chased as physically possible. But at the same time, because of the ceiling height, you can see this one's the better kitchen. Next door was much worse. Is try and run in some wall light feeds as well. There's cabs going here, so we'll do wall light feed there, there, there. Potentially there. We do have an extractor going here. The cooker's going in this bit there. Right. So we're not getting footage, but this is a standalone video. It's late on in the day. About nearly about half three. Let's go for half nearly. three. Um, we've also done a hide and seek video here, courtesy of the people that own the house. They said it's absolutely fine. I would waste many hours, about fifteen minutes. But everyone's gone home now. We're about to pack up. We're going to do another hide and seek. But this is going to be on the weekly video. Jack is on. It's a big JRC. JRC seeker. Big. Oh, thank you. Right. So what? Where are we allowed in the grounds as well? I think the ground. You can go. You can. You can have both houses. Yeah. The mic in the yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'll put it where I want, Adam. But uh, <laughs> I could have said something there. You could. That's what she said. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> you can go. I'm going to wait by the van, so you can have both houses. Yeah. You can have any anywhere. And the grounds as well, but not nowhere on the main road. Yeah. Anywhere, anywhere within. Anywhere yeah. Anywhere within here. But if I see you when I'm. What seeking counting? What? Well, what? Awesome. When I'm counting, you. Why have you just grabbed your crotch? <laughs> just made that really awkward. Yeah. Okay, go, go. Three, two, yeah, one. We need you outside. Yeah, outside. I'm gonna go by my van. I think it's you go fair. in the van. Yeah. I think go in the van and like cover your eyes. I'll open the back doors and stand in the middle. Yeah. Big up Jack's black tire. If I go here, look. Yeah? That was close. No, it wasn't. Oh god, don't turn around. Inside your van smells funny. Shouldn't. Oh, that Thomas? Ugh. Go on then, three, two, one, go! Okay, I'll do a quick van tour. So round here, I like to put everything, as you can see. It's, um, I know where everything is, don't worry. This is a box of bits. Another box of bits, a bit of Cat5, Tat, and then yeah, that's everything else. It's really nice. If I open this door as well, our vans can dock. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, said Jack. We're going to find them rapid. You ready? Whoa. Thought they'd be around there, you know. I really did in the river or something. Wonder if they're up there. No. 
Oh, I can hear something. I can hear something. I can smell Nick as well. I can hear someone. Hmm. Hmm, curious. I see you! of them going outside when I'm up here. The little rascals. Is back there again. No, perhaps not. I can't even hear anything. Be. Hey guys, where are you? <laughs> I thought that was something then, it was a bag rustling. Russell, Russell. Ooh. I see you. Perfect, that. And they're not there. No. They've got to be up here then. They've got to be. What? Thought this would be easy. I see you! <laughs> yes! How, <laughs> how was he down there? I looked. I knew he'd be out there when I was looking out the window before. I knew it. I knew it. He's hidden again though now. That's the only problem. I just heard a whistle. It's like Call of Duty on prop hunt. <laughs> Imagine if it's someone just whistling that. <laughs> See you. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've seen Nick. He ran. You can't run, surely. Yeah, it's not man. It's cheating, isn't it? That. Technically, I found him. You only found me. Yeah. <laughs> Where's he gone? I think he dashed in. 
there. See, you can't run. We're not playing man until tracker. Tracker? What's tracker? Yeah, Sam is man on. Oh, just cooler, just a cooler word for it. Nicholas! <laughs> I wonder where he is. I wonder where he could be. Just run and kick that. I, think he, I don't think no one's What's behind that there. What's that pocket? No, I don't kick that. <laughs> <laughs> I see you! <laughs> yes! You never saw me to start with. Where were you? You come right round. I went on the scaffolding round the side I looked. of the bridge. I've put the camera round as well. No, you didn't see me. You'll see you on the camera, guaranteed, because I put it round. Did you see him? Right. I win. Right, day two with over your top three again. Adam's here, Jack's in the background, and the guy works for Jack. Scotty's here, Scotty Too Hotty. Do you remember who that is? No, because you remember Geordie Shaw. No. Geordie Shaw. Wait a Geordie Shaw, Scotty thing. That's Scotty T in it. Don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, don't know. Scotty's here, hey, mate. Right, we're in the. Oh, this, I've already got a bad one. And this is driving me insane. Uh, we're cracking on chasing, we're literally not stopping to film anything. Um, obviously this is going to be a separate video on the long ones. We're just cracking on, this wall's coming down, Jack really started chasing it, even though it's all coming down. We've got wall lights in place, we've got sockets in place, stuff for Ethernet cable, socket, socket, sockets. So I'll sort of jump back in a little bit, film a little bit more for you guys for the weekly video, and uh, yeah. Hi guys, right, it is quarter past eight. There it is right there, quarter past eight. I'm in the unit. As you can probably tell, I wanted to get in a couple of videos lined up because I've got a busy couple of weeks ahead. I ain't going to get time to film stuff. So I've come to the unit, put the kids to bed, still in today's attire that I wore with Jack and Scotty and Adam. I bought a new top. I said, I bought a new top. I brought a work top. So when this is filmed, to everybody else that doesn't watch the weekly videos, looks like I'm smart, presentable, you know. Plan is, this is my 6.5 PB 6.5 bag, which really, it's just got loads of junk in it and my tools are separated everywhere because I keep leaving my tool bag in here and then some of the stuff has been taken out and put into my bag here. But this is my, one of my prototypes. Ah, don't touch that. Um, so I've had delivery, as you can see here. My bags, I've been given five. Test new tester bag and the lunch bags. So what I'm going to be doing is, and also this is what I was given from Tony the other day. So this is the new camo bag. This is the uh, TCS. I don't know what it's called. TCS 4.0, but it's camo. I had one of these. I had two. I gave a 6.0 a long time ago to someone, and I can't remember who it was. Someone that came here, and I think then when Jack came and did a day with us when we were over in, in Nuneaton, I think. I gave him the 4.0, which was this, but the black version. But because I'm sort of not using this as much anymore, I can either utilize this bag for something else and switch all the stuff from this into this. That's sort of the gist. But I'm going to do a video, which is there, set up. It's going to be a nice little easy video. I'm going to do a bit of over talking, going to be a bit of a chit chat, catch up, twitch them all over, and then switch my actual bag across. And then these are also the new lunch bags. So. Keep it out for the video, and I will see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday morning. It's eight o'clock. Me and Adam are here. Let's go into a bit of a sunlight. Look at this. The first rain of the season. All the grass is thanking it, isn't they, Ad? That's what everyone says, the old people. Uh, it's just us today. It's just us today. No yeah. Jack. No Scott. Everything's chased. I don't know, 99. 95% of this stuff is chased. Yeah, it's just eight sockets in the kitchen. Yeah, and uh, some wall lights. But we still haven't got a kitchen plan, so we can't do that. So today's video, which is going to be a separate video again. I'm really sorry, guys, but I need the content. Need it, Adam, don't we? Mm -hmm. As well as the video would be too long as well. This would be mega long, especially with the hide and seek videos and all that. Live, live, what? Um, so there's not a lot I can show you. I jump back and forth a little bit, um, but we've got circular saws. I'm going to cut apart my Bosch. Circular saw as well, so I can fit Procore batteries in it because it's an older circular saw. It doesn't fit the newer battery types in. So I'm gonna, Nick's gonna modify it. I'm gonna modify it with an angle grinder. Uh, we've got to go and see a job. Believe it or not, even though we are 20, well, 30 minutes away from home, we've got to go and see a job that is on this road here that the guy messaged me about a couple of months ago. So it's worked out quite well. So we're gonna need to see that afterwards. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. 
Okay, so circular saw, 18 volt, I bought this many years ago. These are the old 5 amp batteries, this was before the Procore stuff. You slot in, as you can see, easy peasy. But the difference between Procore and the new ones, if I was to put these two bits level, see how much that is raised by. So that angle there hits this angle in here and sits in there. When I put this one in, because of the size of the battery now, it doesn't fit in. So I'm going to angle grind, well, I'm going to multi tool that bit to see. <laughs> to see if it works, because I have got loads of these at the unit, but I don't want to have to have a separate battery for one thing, which is annoying because we've got so many of these, and these will work a lot better in this. So they should be the same voltage 18 volt, 18 volt, 5 amp, 5 amp. Oh, this is 8 amp, sorry, but these will be a lot better. So let's give this a go. Right, so we tested for one time, yeah? Yep. Yes! So that's in. Oh, oh I don't know how long I've wanted to do this. How many? Two years now? Yeah. But this haven't fit in. I've got it, won't come out now. Oh, hang on, it's because I've pinched this flat. In other words, Bosch hit us up with a new uh, chop saw. Circular saw. Circular saw. But uh, yeah, so if you have the two and you do have one of these and you, you happen to dock to it like me, it does work. It's three o'clock, Adam. We've just finished the filming the video for the stuff, for picking all this stuff up. You'll have to come and double check. I've just shown this off on the video as well, but you guys will see it beforehand. Uh, we've been given from the agency, the people that bought this place, they're sponsored. They have several different sponsors. This is one of them. Adam's just having a bit of a play with the whole saw set. Pick the boards up. We've angled, we ended up angle grinding all the floorboards up. We'd have to watch the video to see that. Um, we're leaving a bit earlier today because I really, really hurt my back. I sneezed while bending over earlier and fell over. So uh, we've got one more day and then we're off for a week here, jumping on some other stuff. But everything's gone well. We're, we're ahead of schedule really because I actually booked in four days to chase everything. And we pretty much did it in two with the help of Jack and Scott yesterday. Um, the fact we're picking boards up, tomorrow we're going to pick the boards up next door in the cottage but that's only going to take a couple of hours. Round all our stuff up, have a sweep up. And there'll be, we'll find someone else to do because we've cut everything out, but I think we're going to get wholesalers tonight. Pick up back boxes, some penny washers, go around with the laser as well tomorrow. Fix all the boxes in place, drill down as well, figure out everything. So as of the week we come back, we start chunking some cables in. Uh, I'm going to go home now. I've got lots of paperwork to do and videos to edit. Adam, what are you doing? I think it's going to like him getting dragged around the shopping centre. Oh, do you, want to it. Gross. do you want to stay here with me? Do you want to come back to my house with seven children there? No, I'll probably just go. Can I come shopping with you? I'll go to the shop now, then just go to the food place and just have some fat scran. Some fat scran, right, we'll see you tomorrow again. It's Thursday morning and it is five past eight. It's the last day here for a while. We're both tired. Let's tell everyone how tired we are, Adam. Super duper tired. Oh, yeah, we are. Such low energy today. But. It's okay, because Adam's gonna do all the work and I'm gonna sit in the van on my phone. Oh, absolutely mint. Uh, we haven't got much left to do, really to do with first fix. We've got to pick the floorboards up across next in the cottage. Most of it's chipboard and most, most of it's damaged, isn't it? Water damaged, so we can just rip that up, circular saw. My Bosch circular saw, my adaptation that we did yesterday, nice. Works a treat, can put the Procore batteries in it. Imagine it with a 12 amp battery in it. Pan de chocolate. Pan de chocolate. I've had to pick it up just to read to see what it is, and you've already had about three of them. Two, thank you. Yeah, and the roofers are still here, I think, making a noise. Clattering around. There's a lot of footage I've not been able to use because I've looked for the past couple of days. There's that much of radio. I don't even know what radio station to listen to. Kiss three. Is that what it is? I just can't use it because it's literally song after song in the background you might be able to hear if i'm quiet which i'm not going to do i'm never going to be quiet on these videos in the background and if every time i think there's a thing where i can talk or have a chat someone use a grinder and if they're not using a grinder they're hitting the roof with a hammer 
probably just to annoy us. So unfortunately, this weekly video might be a bit shortened, but we'll come back bigger and stronger than ever, Adam. We've got 100 things to do. Right, it's 12 o'clock. We're back at the unit now. Adam's just nipped off to the shop. A uh, few things I want to talk about to you guys. So the guy we're working for, like I said before, runs a one of the businesses a marketing agency, almost like well, gets sponsors and speaks to influencers, all that sort of stuff. That's sort of how I've got this job. And uh, we're going to start doing some work together at some point. And they sort of say, you know, name the top three people that you want to work with. I said, well, a lot of people that I really like and admire and the stuff that they do, I already do. Like you say, Unilite, Velocity, Bosch, that bits and bobs. He's like, yeah, think bigger. So I said Ford. I thought Ford would be a wicked one. We can get Ford on board and get them to send some form of electric van, even to lease, not to keep. Keeping a 60 grand van is probably a bit of a push, but that sort of thing would be cool. The next one was Brewdog. I was like, I could get behind that. Imagine Brewdog, beer of the trades. That would be sick as hell. But if there's any other companies that you think that I can get them to approach, sorry about all the noise, get them to approach on my behalf for that side, please put it down in the comments because something that's some form related to the trade would be great. I can't really go for like a new skincare routine. You know, I reach out to Nivea or uh, Head and Shoulders. That's uh, it's probably not for us guys, but anything that you guys would like to see more of or a new sort of product that we can get behind and show you guys that if you're interested, uh, some guys have actually messaged me about, it's like a multi-tool, but it's like a massive version of a multi-tool that chops out brick. I looked at it, I thought, oh my God, I need one of them. Saw the video, but then the price tag was, I think it was 1,600 quid for this. It looks like a bit of a chainsaw. I can't really describe it to you. If I can find it, I will put it on the screen, but it's a very niche product. I was like, well, if you imagine for chasing that bat box where you can physically just multi-tool out brick um, and you can do it square and everything like that, I was like, that's pretty decent because I like the way that me and Jack and Adam have just chased the boxes out. It's so much quicker the fact we chased out two, uh, bed, two, two, two houses, two, two houses, two houses back to back in two days. There's probably a little bit of chasing because we still haven't managed to do the kitchen because I've not got hold of a kitchen plan yet. But when we uh, go back there next time, like I said, R. Davis and Casper are there and uh, we're going to be doing some stuff. Here he is, Mr. Dunlop. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, we've got the day off tomorrow. So there'll be no filming for there, and hence where the van's been brought in here. Are you having a sweet trim tomorrow, bro, yeah? Yeah, I need one. Are you going to a, tell everyone what thing are you going to? A little car meet thing, aren't you? Oh yeah, well, yeah, so I'm, tomorrow I've been dragged to the zoo. So I'm going to the zoo, Chester nice. Zoo. And then Saturday I'm going to some car thing to meet one of my mates. It's called like Weekend at Jay's or something. So, going there. No drugs? No. I will drug, no, te not like, not I like, will drug test you like on a, Monday. Yeah. I know what you were like in the past. Remember that one time when you were, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see you next week, guys. Take care now. Bye bye then. Bye.